Thank you guys for tuning in once again, Carpentry or Chris. Appreciate you guys day in and day out. Trying to upload every single day. It's not easy, but, you know, I'll get the gist of things. Here, just doing some tie wire, fast forwarding it, you know, improvising. And I'll always try to get some pliers. I still have those pliers that I bought from the Oakland flea market, and they've worked out amazing. Um, just sending the, the messages to my foreman and to my journeyman that I completed the task that they asked me for. And here, these... Um, Handrail devices that I've, I've used and cut in previous videos getting a measurement so we can put a handrail They want us to modify it from over here and always I've learned to put the screws in beforehand uh, So it's just a lot easier because if you're working by yourself, it's difficult to put a screw on and then you're holding the device So it's difficult, but yeah, you get the gist of things um, and, and you learn little tricks of the trade here and there by life experience and by yourself and also by what others do cutting a 2x4 here with the sawzall just trying to get the right length for it i believe it's around like 137 inches that we had to cut this one at and that's how the handrails are looking modifying it and we're screwing in two 2x4s flush together what i mean by flush is everything looks as if it were like one and here just putting screws on just fast forwarding the the process of how i do things but honestly everything is really well and here at the end of the video you're going to see that in order for me to keep it flush i put it vertically standing up and then i put it to the side so that way it gets really flush and that's all for this week uh excuse me that's all for today appreciate you guys for tuning in and god bless you until the next one Dios te bendiga. Hasta luego.